think we all felt that after the 2000 Guineas that he was a horse that was going to stay further. You know, the race didn't show him to his full potential. Uh, there were, you know, the race was taken away from him a little bit. You know, he still finished third. Uh, when, it, when any horse can finish, it finished place and run so well in, in a race like the 2000 Guineas after things haven't gone, gone 100% how you'd wish, then, then you know you've got a good horse on your hands. Uh, it's an all-round test for, for, for a horse um, and th there is no margin for error. They, they have to deal with everything uh, very well. And, you know, once I got down to the start where, you know, where we sort of pull up a furlong before the start and then we walk, walk down to the mile and a half start, he, he, he was relaxed and had gotten to that stage um, without wasting any energy. And, uh, you know, if you have a class horse, that's always a, a very confident confident um, sign and it's a nice thing to see. He took me on a little bit up the hill. Um, I mean, he had to get his position, but he came back to me um, beautifully and relaxed nicely. There was, there was never really any, any concern from my part. He was in the right spot and he, he, felt, he felt relaxed in himself and he was in a, he was in a lovely rhythm the whole way around. He, there was never, you know, th there was really never any, any time where we had any any concerns at all, <laughs> you know, in, in any race, you you don't really want to let yourself think that until you've actually crossed the line in front, uh, and it was no different on this, on this occasion. But uh, you know, I must say when when uh, we came down Tattenham, Tattenham Corner, came down the hill, turned into the straight, and he he came alive underneath me. You know, he he he, he was a horse full of running, and I, I knew then that that we were in business, um, and it was just about really. You know that that stage of the race would, would test a horse's stamina, so it was just a question of whether whether he would get home or not. Because um, you know he showed he showed there that he uh, you know he has all the class in the world and and and, and the turn of foot as well. You know, obviously it was a great day for everybody involved, uh, and it was fantastic for Sheikh Mohammed and, and all of his family. And it was fantastic to, to, to see. It was great for horse racing and, and it seemed a very, very popular winner um, within the horse racing world. It, it was really great and look, it's fantastic. I, I think any jockey in the world, um, certainly this part of the world, w would tell you, you know, if you asked them what race would you like to win the most, and it would be the Derby. Um, and of course, you know, Arc de Triomphe and, and Breeders' Cups, they're the huge important races, Dubai World Cups, um, Melbourne Cups, Japan Cups. They're, they're huge races uh, across across the world, and but I think the Epsom Derby is is so historic, and uh, you know it was definitely um, a dream for me when I was when I was younger. <laughs>